What's up, YouTubers? This is West Darby, and I'm back. And today we're going to work on building armatures uh, for our clay sculptures. So first thing we're going to go over some of the tools, and then I'll pause and go over some other things. Um, so right here, this is 14 gauge aluminum wire we got from NASCO. Nice stuff here. We also have some 15 gauge, although I think the 14's a little bit more pliable. Uh, also, we have some. Ace Hardware waterproof epoxy putty. You don't necessarily need waterproof, but you do need this epoxy putty. The set time is right over here. It's three to four minutes. Um, so that's about a good time. Five minutes if you think you're going to move a little slow. We have the ever popular masking tape. Um, I have some newspaper in here. Believe it or not, this is going to be used for my head, which will come in later. So this is newspaper masking tape to keep the weight down. Uh, wire cutters. Uh, needle nose pliers, uh, gloves, definitely want some gloves. This stuff is not the best for your hands. Um, and we have a lovely thing called T-nuts. Not everyone knows what these are because I've been to several hardware stores and they have no idea, let's see here, what the heck a T-nut is. But then when I show them, they're like, oh yeah, it's a T-nut. Um, and that size is 632nd for what I'm using. We also have a bolt. Uh, it is 632nd by 2.5 inch. Uh, the, sorry, here we have a wing nut that I can't seem to grab a hold of. That's your wing nut. Just your standard everyday wing nut. And of course, a washer, which is very tiny. And so then you put the two, put the, well, all of them together. In the end, this will be in the foot. And then it will actually hold the um, armature in place. Uh, also, I'm going to move the camera over here just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Uh, we also have a ruler, or in this case, uh, a little bit larger than a ruler. Um, and then we built a uh, stage. So basically, the stage is basically a 2x4. Basically. Basically a 2x4 with some... Uh, one inch pegboard on top and so basically in the end we're going to stick this in here and our guy's going to sit there. Sorry for the camera shaking there. Alright and we're going to pause the video now and I'll come back in a few moments and we can actually talk about bending and moving and coming up with some sort of armature type individual. Alright so here we go. So basically we have our wire and I've measured this out roughly um, basically our arms, which is right here for this particular size, um, the arms run approximately 20 centimeters in length and the body is going to run approximately 52 centimeters, 54, I'm not too worried about it. So we'll go over a few things real quick. So the first you want to do is come up with this rough sketch. Um, so depending if you want a short guy, tall guy, everything kind of changes a bit. But so roughly right here, we have my individual here, just a stick figure, and I put his arms out at his sides, just how I draw. So I roughly know they're going to go right about um, his thigh, and this is not where this is where his palm is, not where his hand is. So his hand would go at least around here, which is roughly um, halfway down the thigh, which is where it would normally be. Um, measure that out and swung it out of there. And so uh, these things are going to be bones, which will be the ep epoxy. And I have roughly a centimeter between um, here and here and here. Um, so those are going to be where you're going to have movement and joints. Um, this is like the chest plate, pelvic bone. Um, up here, we're not going to have a head, we're just going to have a neck. And that's when this uh, lovely thing is going to pop in here. It'll probably look kind of disproportional and silly, but... Uh, we are in a land of make-believe, and we are just trying to learn concepts right now. We're not aiming for perfection, just trying to have fun. So, and down here is where we're going to have the T-nut. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I have my nice long piece of 14-gauge of, uh, wire here. I'm going to take it down here and roughly put that here, roughly, and bend the, bend the thing. I don't want to bend too much if I don't have to, so let's not do that. Uh, move that around. 
on that wire. So right down here. So we'll kind of take that. We'll move that there and go straight up. Right around here, we're going to bend. Bend that thing roughly right around there. So we have that. And I'm going to use take my needle nose. Kind of pinch those together. And even kind of layer like that. That back on there and pull that out again. Try to pull it down roughly and and look at what I have here. I have a really long foot. But that's okay. I'd rather have too much than too little. So what I'm going to do is that's one. I'm going to do that again. I'll take this kind of as my guide here. Move it there. And here, bend. What I really like about the 14 gauge is so much easier to, to manipulate. I felt like I had to really use a little more energy to bend um, the 15. So we'll see if that ends up uh, biting me in the end. Because if it's too simple to bend, it's going to end up breaking quick, quickly. But uh, hopefully it won't bend, break too easily. So then I'm going to bend it again. And bend it again. And so now I have two of them here. I'm going to hit stop for a moment. I'm going to do uh, three more. So we have a total of five. And then I'll show you how to combine them. So just one moment. All right, so just before we put those pieces together, I want to show you what not to do unless you're doing a certain um, certain objects like uh, tentacles or tails, things that are flexible, but you're not going to bend them a lot, like knees and elbows, you're going to bend those a lot. Um, so the thing is, eventually these armatures will break because they're made out of wire. You bend them and bend them and bend them. So this is actually the 15 gauge. As you can see, I'm having a little hard time clamping down on that. Then you clamp down on this, and what you could do, and the other gauge is so much easier to, to do, you can twist this and twist it and twist it and twist it. And there's lots of different ways to twist it, make them tighter. And as you see here, I got some sort of bump in there. So this is great if you wanted to add a tail. So if this was something, you could flex this without a bone wherever. And at first it appears to be rather strong, so you'd want to do this to your whole sculpture. But I assure you, it will break quicker than what we're doing. But if you need to do like something that you're going to move a little bit, like a tail, it's nice. Okay, so moving on. So we have four of these individuals. And I try to even out the feet a little bit more this time. All right, and this is very malleable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these two together. All right. Oh, darn. My hand there in the center where the pelvis is, just twist a little bit, just enough to keep those buggers connected. Then I'll take these two, the same over here. Now we have one piece here. So then I'll go to the next one. Put my finger on the pelvis here. 
and I will twist just enough to keep it together and so forth. Trying to even out the legs as I go. No, we have that right there. So this will be twist in. I won't twist too much, but just enough. And we'll do the same thing for our last one here. And that's something to put in the back. And then we'll take this little guy here. There we go. Run it like so. Pull them out a little bit. That was roughly my, my beginning of my wire armature. Then we're going to have these 20 centimeter, roughly 20 centimeter. Um, sorry, wires, and what we're going to do, so hold one here where the palm is, go to here where the palm is, and bend, and put those together. I'm going to pause here and do these, and then I'll come right back to show you how to put those together. Okay, so now we're back. We have these three sections. I'm going to take those. And basically what I'm going to do is twist a little bit, not a lot, we're not making it tight, we're just making a group. Same thing, we'll go over here, these are going to be underwear, twist that a little bit. So now we have one group. So then we're going to take our armature and the arm. And what we're going to have to do is we're going to open this up just a little bit. So let's see, I got four here. Let's see if we can open this up. So I'm going to get that there. And we're going to want it to sit somewhere around there. Check the sides here and here. And it looks about right. So then we're going to take this and twist them together. So roughly. And it, it doesn't, it can go in and out. That's fine. It's, uh, that's where the bones come in. I'm going to take this and make sure you get it. tight in there and that's going to go on there and it'll be a little wobbly and it's going to have a big head but that's okay and we're going to have um, clay to make that less wobbly all right so this is our armature next thing we're going to do is I'm going to break open this and cut some pieces off and then uh, put on my gloves first and show you how to build some bones so I'm going to pause here while I set that up and then I'll turn this back on record this and we'll get going okay so I have a chunk here cut a razor blade here I'll pull off some of this uh, plastic here gonna move relatively fast once I start working with this stuff okay the most important thing Deck. and we're going to move this stuff together here the big thing that people tend to make a mistake on is they do not mold this thing correctly you want to really mold that so you kind of want to move fast so uh, it's best to take a little bit of this stuff mold it fast and then do one area you do not want to um, try to take a big chunk and mold it because by the time you get to doing all the areas you want to do, 
you are going to be out of luck. You see there's still, you see the, the marbling in there? Yeah, the green. You want green, you want that all light gray. And so, unfortunately, you guys can't smell this or feel this, but I wouldn't say the smell is bad. I'd say it's more like an eraser that someone has erased really fast. Something. Because I smell a little bit of rubber. And it's starting to get very warm. I think I've molded that fairly well. There's a little mar marbling in there. So this is set up in about three to four minutes, so I don't want to waste too much time doing this. We're already at a minute and a half. Actually two minutes. So I'm gonna pick a chunk here, pull it out there. So here I'm gonna grab this, make sure it's roughly exactly where I want it. And then I'm gonna put this on here like so. Clamp that down like that. And this will stop it from sliding around. Flip that bad man with jam upside down. We can always add more to that later. Try not to get stuck on the paper there. You pull that in there as much as I can. Okay, and then I'm going to take a little bit of this. See how this goes here? Very warm in my hands right now. this bone now when I say it's warm it's not hot but you can definitely feel warmth coming out of this thing all right and I've just got enough to show you one of the bones here so let's do this bone well, we're going to do this small bone because I think I have room for this little piece right here. So I'll put this right on here. I'm going to bend that around like so. And this is going to basically make our bone. As you can see, I'll move that down a bit. Bring the camera in a little bit, hopefully. So right over here is our bone, which is here. Um, and then we'll attach our hand over here. And then over here is another bone, and this is going to be our joint. This is where we're going to bend. Um, I'm going to move this down here a little bit more. And if I was going to venture a guess, I'd say it's probably better to have a little too much than not enough but I wouldn't want to put too much on here and this will set up in about like you said this one's set up in about three to four minutes I'm just playing with this probably too much but anyway so there we go I am gonna pause the video yet again and I'm going to put uh, the bone here, here, and here. I'm going to do the same thing right here, just matching it up with my drawing, um, the thighs and the calves. Um, but then I'm going to pause the video. I mean, excuse me, I'm going to restart the video when it comes time to do the feet, because that's where we're going to put in our, our T nuts. Um, it's very important to put the T nuts in the right position, in the right place. Um, so we know exactly how this thing will get going on, working correctly, boy. All right, so once again, I'm going to pause the video real quick. All right, we're back yet again. So we have our figure here. The first areas are a lot harder than the last areas, which were down here. Very important, um, you want to leave areas like this for your joints. Okay, bare wire means you can bend them, bone, or epoxy in this case, you can't. 
So the first thing we're going to do is take our T nuts and we'll wrap tape on the top. And we'll wrap tape on the bottom here. And the reason why we do that is because we are going to thread this through here. And if you can't put it, uh, if you can't fit two of these on your on your armature because it's too small, we're going to fit um, fit it on your toes. So I move this into position where it's roughly right where my toes would be, and I could see my threads coming through. So which is fine for now. Let's see if I can get this in here. Add a little bit of force to it, pinch that thing down. Sorta. Of. It's sorta of in there now. Sorta. Of. I'm going to bend this because I have so much of it. All right, definitely. So as you can see, you can see in that, in that screw hole, that's what I'm going to do. This is not the easiest with gloves on, so we might have to find another way to do this help each other out put that in like that so it's covered obviously it would have been much better but could have been much better but hey it does what it does we'll take some of this epoxy here oh we'll cut a little bit Peel off this plastic case here. Get it stuck to my glove. It's a bad thing about gloves here. And we'll mash this together. Drop a piece. So I've been wearing these gloves close to 10 minutes, and you can really feel them start to stick and harden. Probably not the best, but you can you you don't have to have gloves, but uh, Highly recommended um, by me, others, and the warning label on the box. But um, yeah, so there's a joke I could put there, but I'm not going to. Um, so we'll marbleize this thing as best we can. This is going to hold all our weight, so you definitely want to make sure it's it's nice and sturdy here. Take our our guy here, and we are going to basically put this epoxy around making sure to make sure we get that uh, that foot covered so it won't go anywhere Some stick to my gloves, unfortunately. All right, so we got this moving down there. Definitely want to make sure it goes around. Man, we don't want it falling off. So as you can see, it's got some on the underside and on the top here. Um, but we're still going to be able to put a pin in there, open that up again, and it's going to be able to run the threads in there. So I'm going to pause this video yet again, and um, we are going to do the other foot, and then I will show you about the fingers. All right, so one moment. All right, back again. So now that we have our gloves off, which is a great feeling, by the way, um, the gloves get kind of hot. Um, due to its shape um, and the shape of the head and just how crazy and odd I am, and I'm going to make an alien, and I suggest you guys don't get hung up on real, you know, proportional people, otherwise you're going to have lots of headaches. So I made this really weird shaped hand, and so basically what I did, more or less, is I 
I bent this. And let's see here. I twisted a little bit. Bent a hand up. And this hand's actually going to be smaller than the other hand, so um, that's not going to be good, but that's okay. In demonstrations, I can always replace the hands later, which is exactly what I'll do. So they're not gluing the hands So we have kind of this makeshift ugly hand. Okay, it's like three fingers. You know. All right, so I'm going to put this thing in here, and there's a couple different ways. Um, this one has loops. This one didn't really have too many loops. But what I can do here, if I can fit it in that hole there, that'd be great. Let's see if I can get some other. Uh, it look like I can fight my way in there. I might be able to get another tool and open that up a bit. Doesn't look like I can, but that's all right. So I will put this here. And basically, find a way to lock down here like so and basically what's going to keep this in place is whatever clay I decide to put on there and so I'll get sculpty clay or something like that and that will be where I can put the clay all around this and be able to hold the position much much better so it's kind of ugly I never said it was going to be beautiful but uh, we can work on that. Um, also, if you do want to make more uh, precise hands, uh, you're definitely going to need tinier, tinier gauge. Uh, remember, the smaller the number, the smaller the gauge. So uh, smaller the number, smaller, uh, smaller the gauge. So you can uh, make more of a um, um, ambient, more dexterity in your figure. Um, this hasn't finished drying yet, but once it's dry, I am going to show you uh, how to make it walk. I'm going to fix this real quick. Six driving nuts. Oh, sorry, the camera's jiggling. But more or less, this is our figure. Throw some clay on there. Get them to walk around. It'll be very amusing. So, until next time, you guys take care. If you have any questions, let me know. Please uh, like the video if you like it. Comment if you want to and subscribe. You guys have a good one. Welcome back everyone and we are going to work on our armature. Got it all set up. This time I wrapped uh, masking tape. So we're going to masking tape all around it and basically I did this just so the tape, uh, the clay had something to work with. Uh, where'd my go? Alright, so I have plasticine, white clay, and I have some green clay. Basically what I'm going to do, warm it up in my hands bend and bend and fold and tear and keep playing like this as you can see it's starting to uh, come together and eventually it'll turn into something like that so let me turn this over here and bend this camera down a little bit all right so i'll take this off here I'll take this off here maybe all right so what i'm going to do here is i'll bend my feet i'll take one of these bolts washer put that on there like so stick it uh right in this one here and i'll twist the bottom Hopefully, maybe. And then I'll, once I get that in there a little bit, I'll twist with the wing nut. You can do this to both of them, obviously. So there it is. So we have our sculpture here. So I'm going to take this 
this uh because i'm making some sort of ugly alien guy i'm gonna take this and i'm just gonna start wrapping his body in clay all right so just one moment here we're gonna keep on wrapping the clay and then i will uh Check back with you in a little bit, and we will see how progress goes. We'll take on the next step. Thanks for watching.